Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Joe, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I created this um, 3D assets. Um, a logo designer, and I'm also a 3D artist. And I'm just going to be basically walking you guys through um, the creation of this 3D asset. It's um, it's basically building models that model in the style of concrete brutalism and for the most part a lot of the assets there are the unique they um they feel like they are from the same environment and stuff like that and i'm giving this out completely free at least there is a free version and there is also a paid version on my gum road so you can get all of these assets there are over 20 buildings in this asset park and um I think for the paid version, I'm not really sure how much I'm going to pin that at. Right now, I think my head is at um, five bucks or, or maybe lower, I'm not so sure right now. But personally, I am really excited that this series is over because it's been, it's been a very, very stressful run from part one. It feels like I'm posting every day, but I am not. Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been like a lot of, sacrifices on my part to try to get through to part six of this series which is going to be the last part and i'm going to resume back my lazy schedule of posting on youtube right so um to be honest i never saw myself doing this series i've done something in this style before but when i saw um a challenge by my boss nerdy pictures shout out to nerdy pictures he's the one that inspired this series actually when i saw that video i was like okay i'm really going to do this i'm going to like try to create something maybe every every three, two days or three days on so short right um so i just i just went on with it um this style is something that i i have a knack for because i've done it before like i said but i also love the style because it kind of feels like low effort. initially you might think it's low effort because of the there's a lot of large surface areas that are left unattended to but then a lot of the effort goes in like the texturing of this building right and knowing where to break up large surfaces and where to have the repeated pattern right now in this video i'm just filling out the entire building with um, some ac assets and some antennas just to put this all together this is just one building out of like 20 I think in this video I just showed how I modeled like five or seven. I'm not really sure of how many of it. But then in the park, there's just a lot of variations that you can pick from. Right? Like I said, you can get that on my gum road. It's all there. There's a free version, there's a pro version, and you can you can get all of this. Like if you just want to create a simple scene, you might not need the pro version as much, but if it's something that you want to create an extensive scene then you might want to check out our pro version So right here, you see me bringing in just some antennas just to fill out the top of the building and make it look. I think a, a lot of building in a way, if you really want to define the scale and make it feel like it's really huge, you need those picking antennas at the top, right? So that was something I was intentional about. And I think I got that from, from somewhere. I think Sketchfab for free and just placed it at the top right there.
So uh, a lot of the rooftop, if you would notice, you would see that I copied a rooftop from one and just moved to the other. So a lot of the rooftop are like, I repeated in a way. Um, so just copy from one part and move to the other part and just change something about it can make it look unique. But for the entrance of the building, that's the lower parts, the ground floor of the building, a lot of that I think I, I actually had to reverse it because I noticed I was just half assing it and just trying to maybe create the stairs, create some pillars and call it a day, but it wasn't looking like an entrance at all. So at some point you'll see me have to go back to Pinterest to get references and do that like for some buildings that I feel like I cheated it. If you now that I have anything to comment, let me just say this. Um, if you have gotten this far in the video, I don't know if you can just um, you can just comment what your favorite thing to watch on YouTube is right now. Right now, I've been watching a lot of concept artists just go off on YouTube. Um, it's unhealthy because I'm not a concept artist, but there's just a lot of value in seeing people work um at the top of their field seeing artists work at such optimal level i've been i've been watching a lot of feng zhu that is the goat right there like you can check him out it's um fzd school on youtube and he has like four hours long tutorial i, I wouldn't call it a tutorial that's like a classroom going to school learning he has like four hours talks on things about concept design and being able to tell stories in your render, stuff like that. So it's it's so much value. So I would like to know what you guys are watching on YouTube. You can just drop it in the comment section. So right here, it's still, still same old, same old, moving things around, creating interesting forms and shape. This particular building, I don't know so much if it's so much of a brutalism style because it has a lot of lights and a lot of windows the only thing that makes it a brutalism is the daring um the daring formation of the building right it's it's very very powerful looking so right here i i started digging deep into the texture right you would see me adding a lot of drip concrete drips down just 
trying to give it a bit more detail right and for this i i think i had a second uv map right there's a place like you'd see in the uv map side you see uv map and then you see the next event has uv map 001 so that's the second uv map that i'm using to move around without disturbing the concrete uv map itself and also i i did um there's this thing that max hayes does with his models he highlights the edges just to max them out and give it a little bit of dirt with ambient operation node so i did that there so right here you would notice that i'm getting a lot more references because the ones i had i had rather i felt were inefficient in order to get that ground for ground floor looking the way i wanted them to look so i i grabbed um i grabbed a little more I grabbed a little more references and brought it into pure ref, you know, just try to try to get something different. So right here, I began to add like more intricate details to the building. Like for this, there were some surfaces that I felt like needed to be broken up a bit. And one, this was one of them. Like adding a window, adding a gate, just so that the, story, the building makes a little bit of sense, right? Because before it was just bare wall back there. So I started like going into the buildings and trying to add maybe better details to this building. I think this is my least favorite building here and it has something to do with this window I added. Out of all the buildings, this is probably my least favorite. So um, after this, I just, I kind of just went on to um, add a little bit of more piping, more texturing, made everything look better. And I think I went on to like creating the YouTube thumbnail with the images I rendered. And that's about it. Um, so long. And like I said, on Gum Road, I have a free version of the building assets and I have a pro version. I have that for like five bucks. You can, you can get that on Gum Road. To support the channel so that's it guys so long and until i see you in the next one peace